When loading a design into the ZSK as a DST, you want to make sure that your DST is eight letters or less, and that is excluding the DST file extension. You can take your design from a USB, plug it into one of the three USB ports in the back. We left our we click on the flower design and down at the bottom you'll see our menu appear and we want to choose USB. So we press that and in here this is where we choose what type of frame. Now since we are um, stitching on just a regular hoop we could choose tubular frame and then we will find the design, scroll down to the design and hit select. It's taking that, putting it in there and now we will take the design and optimize with user defined values. So press that button. And here, these are the needles. Each stop is actually your color sequence. So this is where we want to input the needles for the colors for this design. So at the bottom, you'll see your uh, needle numbers, and you will input the needle numbers according to the colors on your design sheet. If you need to get to needles 9 through 12, you can press the button on the right hand side and you'll see 9 dot 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 15. So you can now choose any needle uh, 9 through 12. And if you need to go back to the 1 through 8, you can press that button again. So once we have input our colors as the color chart goes, we accept the stop table. Press that. Now here, we want to make sure that these four options are selected. The home, the insert uh, start needle, the pre to stop function, and trimming at three. Then you want to hit optimize with set values. It will input it into the machine. Now you have modification setup options. Um, you can change the design such as if you want to rotate it like 180 degrees uh, if you were wanting to do for a hat but in this case we don't want to so we're just going to click on no design modification so there's no design modification press the appropriate button to go with that and we look at everything it is um, these four that are check marked are home optimized cleaned foreign code adapted and trimming um, I'm sorry, that was five. So we accept it, and now the design is ready to stitch. Now we need to make sure that's going to fit inside of our hoop. So we press the flower button with the little circle, and you can see you've got um, doing it uh, faster or slower. You want to click the ZSK button to move the panograph. When you move the panograph, you could see with the arrows, you could see that panograph actually move, and where the where you could see what needle is on was right next to that green little icon. So we are on needle 12, you can see on the screen. And as we hit contour finer, it will get closer to the actual stitch out of the design. So you can see it, it's getting closer and closer to it. If you do contour cor coarser, it'll get further away from the design and, and uh, trace it more coarse, if you will. Um, so you can see that it's going to trace along those little boxes. Um, you can go frame slow or fast. You need to hit the ZSK button to get back to the right hand side so that we can hit the start button. And when we press start, it will trace that design. And remember, we are following needle 12 on this because that's what it said on the screen. We can see that it fits inside the hoop. And uh, once we're ready to stitch, we hit the previous. So press that, and now we are ready to start the machine. Make sure that the right side is light, has the light on, press the green button, and then you can start stitching.